hear something? Oh, you build in. A skull and, and jaw from Rob the people. Good. That is it. I'm on a girl. <laughs> Seth, how's it going? I got your text. What's up? How's therapy going? Uh, alright. Um, but listen, I kind of need a place to stay. Ah, uh, man, I don't really know. Since I got out of prison, I don't really have a house. I've just been staying with Sarah. Well, do you think I could stay with you guys? Um, I don't know. She doesn't really like you too much, but I guess I can ask her. Hey, Ryan. Ready to go? Hey, um, do you think Seth could stay with us for a while? Um... Let's just talk about it later. Let's go. Sarah, there's something I wanted to bring up again. If it's what I think it is, I don't want to hear it. But Sarah, you don't understand. Seth needs a place to stay. I just don't feel comfortable having someone that was just in a mental institute living in our house. What are you talking about? You're dating someone that used to be an ex-prisoner. Yeah, about that. I've been thinking lately about us, and to be honest, I don't think it's gonna work. Wait, are you breaking up with me? Uh, yeah. What? Are you shitting me? Your attitude has been unstable recently, and to be honest, I don't feel safe. Unsafe? I'll show you unsafe. I hope you die! Homicide. Victims female, approximate age 11 to 12. Found in the basement of the house. Let's get a CSI crew here immediately. Bring them in. in upstairs, drag the victim to the basement, and murder her here in the storage room. Yep, detective, I picked up some prints here on the couch, and there on the lamp. Here we have scanned all the fingerprints into the database. The only suspect in our database is Ryan Smilek. Only conviction is selling child pornography. Interesting. Thanks, detective. According to her body temperature, she died approximately 11 hours ago. Interesting.
interesting. Judging by the gas on the victim's forehead, looks like we have some passive transfer before she was fatally stabbed in the side, judging by the pool of blood next to the victim. Hey Dust, I think we can get some prints off these knives. Let's get this stuff to the lab so we can prove that this sick bastard was indeed Ryan Smilenick. So the blood on the knife is in fact a DNA match to our victim, Sarah. And these fingerprints on the handle look to be the exact same fingerprints as the ones found on the lamp and couch belonging to our suspect, Mr. Ryan Smilenick. Also, this blood sample found on the wall, it seems that it's not from Sarah, but while doing a PCR test, that it confirms it is from our suspect, Ryan Smilenick. Well, I think we have enough evidence here. I'll contact Detective Strom and we'll bring him in immediately. We got him. Move it in. Mr. Smondek, this is Detective Strom, Milwaukee Police Department. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Smilenick. Do you know why you're here? Who the hell are you? I'm Detective Strong. I believe we met the other day at the park before you decided to run. Is there any good explanation for that? I'm a detective. <sighs> police. I heard police. That's all. There's no way I'm going back to that hell hall. That's the only reason I ran away, I swear. You do realize you're here under the investigation for the death of Sarah Ty, a close girlfriend, I believe? Wait, what did you just say? Maybe this will jog your memory. Oh my god. Don't act so surprised. Your DNA was splattered all across the scene. I'm sorry, are you trying to accuse me of this? There was blood splattered on the wall, and that blood DNA Match the exact DNA that we had in your criminal records. No, there's no way. You would need to cut this act, Mr. Smilenick. Act? This is no act. I wouldn't kill her. Okay, yeah, I was pissed off at her that night, but I had no reason to kill her. We have reason to believe that you may have been just a little more than mad, Mr. Smilenick. We have reports of na from neighbors claiming that there's been screaming and fighting in the house for the past couple of days now. Okay, yeah, we were fighting, yeah. She broke up with me. I was pissed. I'll admit that. But still, I had no reason to kill her. I didn't- Oh, Alright, calm down, man. All the evidence is pointing against you, Mr. Smile. Like, how can you explain these fingerprints? Or about this knife? This was yours, wasn't it? No, I've never seen that before in my life. Face it, Mr. Smile. Like, we have no other option but to take you in. You're wait, under arrest wait, for the wait. death of Sarah No, Ty. no, don't say that. Wait. I have a twin. Stop trying to prove yourself innocent. Where are you going with this? No, no, it's not that. We're maternal twins, okay? Our DNA is exactly the same, I swear. You guys should know this. What are you doing? Hold on. It's smiling like, what size shoe do you wear? A 10, what does that have to do with anything? Son of a bitch. Mr. Smilenick, it seems that we may need to investigate your brother further. Until then, you're free to go, but watch your back. We're not done with you yet. 
Hey, I got a lead on Ryan's twin, Seth, his whereabouts. He doesn't have a registered house, but he's been tracked living by the uh, Bugline Bridge, so I'll be there in a minute. All right, I'll be right there. Well, this is the bridge. I just don't understand how someone could live here. What the hell? Check this out. What do you got? <laughs> I can't take this anymore. So then it's a suicide. I think you need to look a little more closely. How do you think he got the bloody nose and the gash on his face? Also, who pressed stop in the tape recorder? Hey man, can you hold this for a sec? Uh, sure, why? Okay, thanks. Damn it! Cut! What are you doing? <laughs>